Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Worms Reloaded March 2020 series. And what a start we have had in this series so far. I don't think you could have predicted anything that has gone on up to this point. But we're back with more action today between Deathwish 808 and a load of crap. And like I said, you cannot predict what is going to happen. A load of crap here taking the early advantage. 12 points so far with two wins and eight worm bonus to Deathwish, who has only picked up the points from his four worm bonuses. Can Deathwish bring it back in this um, next encounter, or will a load of crap continue to stretch this rather impressive early lead further into the month of March? Only time will tell. We're about to get into the action here from March the 3rd. So without further ado, let's head over to the arena. So here we go. It is time to get us under the way here for the first match of March the 3rd between Deathwish 808 and a load of crab. We are in a pond scenario and uh, there is quite a few vulnerable worms in and around the area it seems. But Deathwish here is going to get us underway in this match. And uh, looking high, you've got to say, a load of crap is about to lose his first worm straight out of the doors here. There we go. Bazooka shot straight up into the air. That was uh, no big surprise that Deathwish would do that. And straight off the bat, we are four on three in favor of Deathwish 808. A load of crap, though. Let's see what he can do in the retaliation. Possibly the uh, worm on the right there in sort of like the middle of the three is possibly going to be his target surrounded by a few mines and barrels although there is the low worm as well that has got two barrels next to him goes for the rocket shot works out a treat unfortunately though death wishes worm is not catapulted in the air and hardly takes any damage surprisingly that has got to be a massive disappointment there for a load of crap Deathwish now with the worm on the opposite side of the map. He's got options. I think he may go high here and try and knock yet another one of a load of crap's worms into the drink. But let's see. He's, uh, yeah, he is lining that shot up straight in the air. Let's see the projection, trajection, sorry, of uh, a load of crap's worm. He just comes straight down for, unfortunately, for Deathwish. And uh, Deathwish has now that worm right next to a barrel in a very compromised position as well. But um, a load of crap's worm there is certainly going to play a bit of a part in a load of crap's uh, next move. He's not one going to do anything um, too drastic to damage the worm. Although he is going to take the shot now. Let's see. This is this could be the end of this worm right next to that barrel that's going to cause extra damage. He's going to drop a grenade and drop his worm down here to the right, I believe, just to try and get him out of safety. He does indeed. Manages to stay away from damage. Let's see what happens here, though. Big shot and fire damage and mine damage. That's going to be catastrophic and game over for that worm. 136 damage. And it also looks like a load of crap has lost a worm there as well. We need to take another look at that on the action replay to try and understand everything that actually happened. So while all that was kicking off on the left, watch what happened to the worm on top of the bottle. This is what we missed. The explosion there was just enough in the blast radius to knock that worm straight into the water for a load of crap, reducing him down. And then all of the other carnage ensues. The mine goes off, the barrel goes off, the worm does the fire dance straight on top of a load of crap's worm, then does a death animation on top of it to cause extra damage. And a load of crap is down to two worms. It is now three on two in favor of Deathwish 808. Back with the live action here. Deathwish with three worms on the right-hand side. A load of crap with two on the left. It could be reduced to one here if Deathwish can get this shot. The wind is with him, but unfortunately he hits the bottles, the bottle. Sorry, causes 15 damage to a load of crap's worm there, who is really on the edge and uh, very in a very precarious position. He could easily potentially fall into the water here. I think he's going to have to move this worm higher and put him a little bit uh, safer does indeed has the wind with him now what is he going to do is he going to go for the low worm again or will he attack the middle worm I, I would go for the middle worm surrounded by quite a few explosive goodies there could be a good uh, opportunity to reduce death wish down to a uh, two worms and um, tie up the number of worms here let's see what he's going to do though Good shot, knocks Deathwish's worm into the drink, and that's two worms gone. My goodness, what a shot from a load of crap. I did not expect that one to happen, and just like that, a load of crap swings the pendulum in his favor. Deathwish with a quick retaliation shot, sorry, 
And another worm in the drink. The action is happening thick and fast here. We are one on one. This has really escalated quite quickly as these pond situations can. He also caused 13 damage on a load of crap's remaining worm. Deathwish definitely with the advantage here. 100 health plays 13 in this opening match. What can a load of crap do here though to almost prevent the inevitable? Luckily, it's a one-on-one, -on -one, so even if Deathwish wins this one, he's only going to claw back one point uh, in his favor. But what can he do? Can he drop him down into the fire pit? The grenade is good. It bounces high. Unfortunately, though, it bounces just a little bit too high above Deathwish's worm there. And you have to think, as long as Deathwish has repaired that broken abacus, this could be match number one to the Deathwish. See what he does here. Wind is slightly against him. Not going to make too much of a difference with only one. He's quick to shoot, but the shot comes up short in that instance. So a load of crap lives to fire another turn, but uh, it is looking like only a matter of time before the inevitable happens. If he could potentially get a grenade shot here thrown across map and lodged between Deathwish and that wall, that might actually catapult Deathwish's worm into the water. So let's see what he can do here. It's grenade is high. It was a good effort. Unfortunately, there just wasn't enough there for Deathwish's worm to slide down below. Um, those suction cups were... Uh, Definitely helping him out in that instance, but he could have fell, easily fallen down there and onto their mine, and that could have been game over. Deathwish with a four wind against him here. Going to have to swap it out to the grenade as he does. Let's see what he can do here. Can he finish off the game? The grenade is looking good, and that is the game. Full damage and in to the drink as well. That is game number one to the Deathwish 808 in some really thick and fast action during that match. After the frantic action of match number one, we then go to an indoor map with no pond. I don't think this one is going to be as quick. Match number two, though, from Deathwish 808 and a load of crap from the third of match. Deathwish once again to get us underway here in the uh, bazookas and grenades conflict here. Deathwish uh, going to be looking here just to get some good damage here on a load of crabs worm. I think he's going to go for the high right worm here. Just trying to loft that grenade, uh, sorry, loft this rocket shot up. And just above, knocks a load of crabs worm down. Very strategic play there from Deathwish 808. Isolating almost two of a load of crabs worms from the early outset. A load of crab is definitely going to have some trouble getting those worms involved in this uh, conflict going forward from here. A load of crap now with one of those worms. Let's see what he can do. We know he's very good at threading the eye of a needle. He can often pull off some very close quartered and tight shots. Two seconds on the grenade here. I think we're going to go for a um, an attack on this 100 worm of Deathwish here. Just see if he can get a grenade to sit nicely in there. It goes long though. Maybe trying to almost dislodge some of those grenades as well. But and ultimately the shot is wasted and uh, Deathwish is back in the saddle here. Deathwish with the worm on the far left-hand side here. Trying to make his way a little bit up the left-hand side here. Um, can't go too far because that mine will stop him. Got his grenade out. Possibly going to see a grenade shot down in between the two uh, golf shoes here. Bouncing off the lip. Doesn't quite roll down though for Deathwish. And uh, there is uh, some slight... Radius damage there on a load of craps worm of seven. But ultimately, I think Deathwish wanted that grenade to roll down next to a load of craps worm there just to cause um, a little bit more damage. A load of crap now, his turn with that worm. Let's see what he can do here. He's going to try and cause some damage through the brolly here. Let's see, he's uh, lining everything up. The wind is slightly against him, but at a short distance, it shouldn't affect the shot too much. There we go, 30 damage. There is a mine, though, rocking around right on top of a load of craps worm for the 45 extra damage. Really unfortunate there for a load of crap. Um, does manage to open up, though, a way for the Deathwish's middle worm to uh, get involved here. The game does seem to have stalled, though. Has the game, has the game crashed? Has the connection been lost between the players? I think it may have done. Things don't seem to be happening 
So, uh, yeah, the game has been um, quit here. So we'll uh, get the players back together and the action will rejoin real soon. We are reconnected here and we are back with the two players to restart match number two here from the 3rd of March between Deathwish 808 and a load of crap. And it is a load of crap to get us underway here in a inside environment once more, not quite as cluttered as the previous one. So let's see um, what sort of action we can uh, get out of these two competitors in this match, shall we? Um, similar to the first, Hello to Crap has a high worm here that's very vulnerable. So um have to watch out from there as uh, a load of crap lofts a grenade nice and high to Deathwish 808, causing big damage, 70 damage in total. There was an explosive barrel right near him, causing the extra damage there. And uh, that's a good opening play from a load of crap. That worm gets the retaliation shot though right now. As uh, see what he's going to do. He's going to go back higher on the golf, golf uh, shoe here. But Deathwish has options. Is he going to go for the worm underneath the brolly here to his right or the worm high to his left? Using the bazooka would indicate that he's going to go for the worm on the right given that he's got a four wind against him towards the left. Direct shot on the worm. Knocks the worm down to his other worm there on the right of mine. Is teeter tottering around. Ultimately it lands just to the left of that fire pit. 48 damage on a load of craps worm there. Wasn't quite close enough to the explosive barrel to have any damage from extra damage from that, but um, a good chunk of damage nonetheless. A load of crap here could bring an end to Deathwish's worm here on the golf shoe. Can he get this shot just right? Let's see. He's got the uh, bazooka out at the minute. Looks like he's going to try and bazooka shot. If he can knock him down, though, there's also the potential that he's going to land on that mine and fire pit down below. So just needs to move, dislodge the worm. That is enough, though. He 44 damage. Deathwish loses his first worm, and we are four on three in favour of a load of crap here in match number two. See what Deathwish can do in any sort of retaliation here. He can make his way up this bottle a little bit. I don't know if he can get over the explosive barrel, but I think he's going to go for the high worm. He may get lucky here with the fall. Let's see where the worm falls. He actually misses the worm, unfortunately, for him. Um, he goes a little bit far to the right, but I was going to say, let's be, it'll be interesting to see when that worm gets dislodged from up there, where it's going to land. There is a mine directly below almost, which could come into play. Um, causing extra damage there to a load of crap's worms. A load of crap able to bring his worm out of this pit, and you've got to think that a Deathwish worm here is going to suffer extra damage because it is close to that barrel right next to the worm here. Let's see what happens. The explosion goes off, causes 85 damage, then lands directly on an explosive mine that was an instant mine, 133 damage. Deathwish's worm is out of here. Let's take another look at that one on the action replay. We knew that we were going to get some extra damage there, but look at the this. The way the worm is thrown up into the air, up and over a load of craps worm, and directly onto that instant mine. That was a big, big damage. A load of crap only took one hit point on his worm there as well for the massive overkill on Deathwish's worm. 133 hit points, and that worm is out of here. Back with the action now, and it is very much a left versus right conflict here. Deathwish's two remaining worms on the left-hand side of the map. A load of crap occupying the right and centre side of the map. Um, let's see what he can do here. Maybe he's going to go for another high shot uh, on that worm to try and bring him down. The wind is against him, though, with a three wind. Uh, does manage to hit the worm, but um, as we were wondering whether or not the worm would come into contact with that mine directly below him, he does not. He takes extra damage from the fall, reducing him to 50 health points. And uh, it's certainly a game on here, as we're going to see some uh, quite interesting cross-map plays here, I would assume. A load of crap now with the worm on the far right. Wind is with him. I don't think, though, he's going to have a, an angle here. If he overpowers the shot, he's definitely going to hit the ceiling with this uh, bazooka here. But the wind is definitely going to help. He manages to move the mine. I think he was uh, could have got lucky there if the mine had bounced near a load of uh, Deathwish's worm. Sorry, on that bottle. It doesn't, though. It's put to safety. And Deathwish uh, escapes unscathed. He's now going to try and get up this bottle like I thought he might do in the previous turn. He does manage to get on top of the explosive barrel. 
and move his worm further away to the left hand side of the map here pulls out the grenade so let's see what he can do i think he's going to try and put this grenade on the worm closest to him here the 50 worms right next to an explosive barrel so if he can get it relatively close um it's definitely going to cause a massive amount of damage here. It's up, it's over, it rolls back, and that worm is dead. We are down to a three-on-two situation here. Will the death animation dislodge this mine here and do anything to bring this mine into play? Let's see. It does not. So a load of crap manages to escape any extra damage to that worm there. Um, I, I did also wonder about whether the death animation blast radius would affect that worm's health. It does not. Deathwish here, though, has got to be wary of that worm on top of that. But on near that explosive barrel here, as a load of crap comes back on the offense, um, if he can just loft it nicely. The wind is going to be quite difficult to judge here. That's a good shot, though. Very, very good shot. Extra damage of 23 from hitting that barrel. Um, sends that worm down to 37 health. Also, quite critically for Deathwish, it now puts one of his worms almost out of action here. I don't think he's going to be able to tunnel out of that pit. So um, he's effectively going to be losing a turn every... He's only going to have one turn every two because of the position of that worm. He knows... I think he knows it, that he's not going to be able to do anything with it here. It's normally a load of crap in these conflicts that we see uh, she shakes the worm about halfway through the shot clock. It's normally a load of crap we see in these sort of predicaments. She pulls out the jump rope and quite rightly just skips the turn. There's absolutely nothing he can do here. A load of crap, though, um, is sitting pretty here. Um, he's in a very good situation. He's going to have to, I think, he abuse a grenade. Um, he could... Finish off Deathwish's worm here, but it has to be a, rel a relatively um, precise shot. He's gone with the bazooka in the end. It comes down a little bit too short, unfortunately, in the end. But that was a good effort from a load of crap. Um, just a shame it wasn't a little bit more powerful, which would have taken it to that worm. Deathwish now moving that worm out of the way. You have to say, these two worms are really isolated here to this right-hand side. There's not really a lot of room for them to travel around. Death was through the fantastic grenade toss right behind a load of craps worm there. 35 damage was um, he's pretty good. I'm sure he will take that. A very good shot there from Deathwish 808, considering he'd only just moved that worm there and there was no um, setup shots or previous attempts to hit and damage that worm there. A load of crap now back with this worm on the far right hand side. Once again, the wind is with him. Three wind going right to left here. Goes too high, and that's what I spoke about in the, that worm's previous shot. About too much power, it's going to take away the ceiling um, area there. And um, it's going to almost waste the shot. Obviously, the more shots he plays like that, it will allow him to get a better angle on those shots. Deathwish here trying if see if he can get on the golf ball. He does manage to get on the golf ball. Deathwish bringing this worm right back into the action here. Very good play there. I didn't I honestly didn't think the worm would be able to get out there. Don't go too far to that mine though Deathwish or as you are going to set it off. He pulls out his bazooka here. Although the wind is against I think he's going to try and dislodge a mine here possibly. No, he's taking out extra scenery, opening up that area. Um, so that he can launch a barrage of attacks on a load of crap. But Deathwish now back with two worms for every two shots. He's not going to be losing out any more turns. Very good acrobatic skills there from that worm of Deathwish. A load of crap here thinking he might be able to get on top of those golf balls. Maybe just press the wrong button, but that was never going to happen. Definitely far too high to be able to get up to there. See what he can do here. Can he loft it nicely and take out this 37 worm or... Are we going to see? He does. What a shot. 42 damage. That worm is out of here. And we are three on one in favor of a load of crap. Also caused 12 damage to Deathwish's other worm. And um, Deathwish now with only one remaining worm in match number two. Let's see what he can do in retaliation. The bazooka is out. A good shot. 43 damage. Reduces that worm to eight health. Sorry, five with the extra four damage. So... Um, Deathwish definitely not going to go down here without a fight in match number two. A 
load of crap now or with the worm that was just damaged what is he going to do and where is he going to put this worm there is an invisible pixel there which is pretty much blocking him he manages to backflip out of it in the end gonna have to be a grenade shot here i'm wondering whether or not he might try and aim a little bit higher from that worm though there is two mines right above the death wishes so he could um, potentially aim for those and try and bring them and slide them down the, the hill a little bit let's see what happens it's going to bounce Fortunately, the, the grenade wasn't traveling fast enough to bounce up high enough and move far enough. It could have been um, it could have been a really good shot if there was more pace on that grenade. I, I do think it would have bounced up and traveled a bit further towards Deathwish as he retaliates with the rocket shot here. And dislodges a mine, which was an instant mine straight into the path of a load of crap and takes away 46 damage, uh, 46 health there from a load of crap. So a very good shot indeed from Deathwish. I don't think it was initially what he was going for, but um, the backup there certainly helping him out a lot. A load of crap here. Back with this this worm. What's he learned from last time? The wind is slightly against him, which is not going to help him. And once again, he's... Um, it's too high and it hits the ceiling, but I think you could see as the shot was going off there, the wind had already caught onto that uh, bazooka shot and was already starting to put it off course. So I don't think that was going to work, even if it didn't hit the scenery. Deathwish there, the wind helping him there. It slows up the rocket just nicely to land just in front of that worm of a load of crap. That worm is down to 39. You have to say Deathwish is looking really good at the minute, chipping away at a load of crap's worms one bit by bit. Holy crap, now going to try and return his worm here to the high area. Which he does indeed, quite nicely. Going to put that worm there in a vulnerable position. Deathwish has already aimed up that sort of area. A load of crap with the wind with him here this time on the bazooka shot. It's going to be a little bit too high, but it's going to move those mines about. Doesn't quite make that mine roll anywhere near Deathwish, and both mines remain unactivated here. And let's see what Deathwish can do here. If he can get a similar sort of shot here, he could potentially get rid of one of the load of crap's worms here. It's gone high though, unfortunately. Look at the mine bouncing. I don't think, I think it's lost in it, all its height though now. So that's the mine's going to go out of play down into the water pit there. And um, yeah, Deathwish unfortunately misses all of a load of crap's worms. It's going to be the five worm here for a load of crap. I think it's going to be up next in this conflict sitting in a relatively good position although the wind is against him by three gonna have to pull out that grenade sets the timer to three seconds he has got a bit of a pit though now behind death wishes worm here on the left hand side that he can aim for so he doesn't have to be try and get like an explosion as the grenade is parallel that is a good shot though knocks him down onto the mine as well what is that going to do is that going to be enough for death wish 808 to end the match 68 no it's not but Deathwish now down in this pit can he escape his worm is down to 20 and you have to say that is a pretty open area there for Deathwish to be able to um throw a load of crap sorry to be able to drop a grenade in there on a Deathwish 808 Deathwish is going to try and scale this left hand side he is able to do it so ignore what I just said uh, that um he is able to bring that worm out of the pit here is he going to take him high again yes he is if he can pull out the suction cups and stay on the scenery he does indeed he does put himself in a bit of a awkward position though a bit vulnerable and uh the radius damage there causing oh 10 to a load of craps worm there i think it's a load of craps worm on the far right hand side here to play next so deathwish has got a bit of um respite here i don't think he's going to come under immediate threat although there is four wind with a load of crap so that means he doesn't have to loft the rocket shot up as much it's going to be caught by the wind just like that very good shot takes away nine damage from deathwish eight to eight and uh, deathwish down to 11 and uh, you have to say the the action here and the excitement is ramping up as we head into the head into the final segments of this game uh, seven minutes left on the match timer here. Deathwish trying still to get higher on this right-hand side. I don't think his worm is going to be able to do it, though. He just seems to be a little bit too short. He's going to keep trying, though. And uh, now he decides enough is enough. Let's try and take some damage on a load of crap. Which worm is he going to go for here? The 29 or the 5 worm? The mine is set off, it's triggered, and the bounces around eventually catches um, a load of craps worm there. 17, that brings it down to a two-on-one situation here. 
What can a load of crap do though in retaliation? It's the worm in the center to play next. Um, the wind is against him, so we're going to have to see a grenade shot. Now, I don't know if um, the player's tombstones here actually affect uh, our solid. I don't know if you can bounce things off them or if uh, projectiles will go through them. We may actually find out here. They do go through. He's going to catch the lip, though, and that's going to send the grenade down. And this really opens it up for Deathwish 808 to um, potentially bring it down to a one on one situation. And. Uh, that's uh, be a good comeback from a Deathwish 808, considering a load of crap looked very good to take a 3 and 0 win here. Deathwish with the bazooka shot goes a little bit high, does manage to thread uh, in between the geometry and the brolly and uh, take a little bit of damage away from a load of craps worm on the far right here. He's opened up more of an area below there though for a load of crap. So if he brings his worms a little bit down on that right hand edge here, he may be able to get a better shot rather than trying to go up and over but i think he doesn't look like he wants to move that worm no he is doing let's say he will get a much better angle if he brings that worm lower i know he's been practicing with that worm but it's been very hit and miss whether he's been getting the rocket shots through or whether he's been hitting the ceiling he's pulled out a grenade i think he's going to try and throw this grenade and bank it around that arch it's going to go off it's six damage death wishes worm is still hanging in there by the skin of its teeth with five health now and uh, what more can a load of crap do here? He's pulling everything out and he is still not able to tie this match up. A direct shot from Deathwish808. What a beautiful shot. Perfect amount of damage brings it down to a one-on-one -on -one situation. You cannot make this up. Um, just when it looked like a load of crap was going to win th by three worms. Um... It's pretty much even Stevens, and anyone can take this match with a load of crap here. Grenade is out. He only needs five damage to take this match and take it to a sudden death match number three. Let's see what he can do here. He's thinking very carefully about what it is. We're almost halfway through the clock. A good five minutes left on the match timer. I don't think we're going to go down to sudden death here in terms of the match clock. The grenade is up, it catches the lip, and it is very much back in Deathwish 808's hands here. He can take this match and almost and take the, the, the series here for March the 3rd as long as he gets this shot off and kills a load of craps. When the grenade is up, it comes up short, and that's going to open up a bigger area there for a load of crap to move to the left and have a better shot at the worm. Let's see what he can do here. Deathwish decides not to move his worm. He's, he's considering it's really not worth it. A load of crap moves, moves the worm to the left. He has the win with him. He's going to use the bazooka. But he's got to be careful not to overpower this shot. He overpowers it. It goes over. And Deathwish now has the opportunity to tie up the series. In match number two, much like a load of crap did in the previous one. Let's see. And he survives with two health. My goodness. I thought for sure Deathwish was going to have that. But as we've seen so many times in Worms, you just cannot predict what is going to happen we are down to a five health versus two health worm confrontation here a load of crap to play has he learned from his previous state he has he has indeed he takes the match what an epic and exciting finale to match number two here and that leaves it all to play in match number three so here we go, it is match number three from the 3rd of March between Deathwish 808 and a load of crap. Pretty much all the action we have seen so far has done nothing to the standings in the league table. Each player has scored the same amount of points so far. So it all comes down to this decider here. Who will come out on top? Will a load of crap be able to extend his lead so far? Or will Deathwish 808 be able to reduce the deficit? Time will tell. And by the end of this match, we will know the answer to that question. We're looking at the map, we are on a pond. And once again, a load of crap has got a high worm isolated there. That is the third match tonight we have seen where he has had a worm like that. Luckily, there isn't water above him though today. Although Deathwish is going to try and do something about that possibly. Or you may be going for a cross-map shot. Let's see. It's a cross-map shot. 
onto the uh, flame barrel there, which actually sends the flame down to his own mine, his own worm, sorry. And one of a load of craps worms is sent flying into the water as well. Kind of everything went off there really quickly. And let's take another look just to try and understand what actually happened. Like I said, a lot went on there. The shot goes across here. And let's see, as it comes back down, it hits the explosive barrel. That causes a load of crap's worm to land on a mine, which throws him into the water. Meanwhile, down below, that explosive barrel cast fire on Deathwish's own worm, making him do a fire damage onto a mine, shoots him up, and then causes even more fire damage there. What a... Uh, Clever little shot from Deathwish808 to get us underway here in match number three. So Deathwish takes the early advantage here, reducing it to a four on three in his favor. It's now turned for a load of crap, who um, surely here is just going to throw a uh, bazooka shot up here to Deathwish's worm, knock him off, hopefully into the water. He's got to be very careful, though. There is a lot of explosive barrels uh, around this worm, too high that could get affected from this shot. So... Uh, a load of crap could actually see some fire raining down on him. He actually misses everything and the shot goes and hits the ceiling. That's got to be disappointing there from a load of crap. Um, needed to shoot just a little bit more to the left there to cause some real carnage there on Deathwish's worm. Back to Deathwish though now. He now has the play. Uh, with his worm over here on the, what remains of the golf shoe on the left-hand side of the map here. What can he really do? I think he's probably just going to have to aim up here. I don't think he's got an open shot on any other of a load of crap's worms here on the right-hand side without damaging his own worm. So surely he is going to uh, attack a load of crap's worm who is directly above him. Halfway through the shot clock though, and uh, Deathwish obviously giving it some... Uh, Serious consideration here, unless he's yeah, AFK, he pulls out the grenade. So it looks like he is going to go for a cross map shot here. Interestingly, 10 remaining on the clock. Fires it across, it's down in the hole a little bit too low, though. It might get a bit of radius damage, does get 10 uh, points of damage there on a load of crap's worm. But um, I thought he might go for the high worm to bring him down there. Um, let's see, though, a load of crap, though, if he has that worm next. I don't think there's going to be many options other than throwing a grenade out there, but you may have the low worm. Nope, it is the high worm. I don't think throwing a bazooka is going to really do much here. Just going to switch it out to a grenade, I think, surely with that angle. Yep, there we go. So I think he might be trying to bank it off the ceiling directly down towards Deathwish's 48 worm here. Bounces on the top of the uh, golf shoe there and takes away all of that scenery around Deathwish's worm there on the far left hand side. 23 damage, which was good um, considering he had all of that um, scenery around him. But now Deathwish in retaliation is surely going to take out the high worm here. Where's he going to land? Straight on top of that mine for extra damage. I think he's just going to be alive. Let's see. Yeah, 92 leaves that worm on 8 health. Um, but you have to say it's looking good here for Deathwish808 to reduce a load of crap down to two worms on his subsequent shot. A load of crap now with the low right worm blasting away Deathwish's worm into the drink. The mine sets off the explosive barrel having Deathwish already activated it. Takes 21 damage in the exchange himself but manages to bring it down to a three on two scenario. I think we're going to see a grenade here drop down on this worm of a load of crap right near that explosive barrel. This could be quite catastrophic because not only have you got the extra damage from the explosion of the explosion barrel, you may also see that worm doing a fire dance. Let's see how this pans out. Deathwish moves his worm slightly. And uh, luckily for a load of crap, he does manage to avoid any fire dance damage, but it has reduced that worm to 15 health and over all three worms now he has got less than 100 health um death wish sitting at well over 200 at this moment in time you can see a rocket shot directly up here explosive barrel right next to death wish knocking him all the way into the drink and look at that how lucky is a load of crap there the fire landing just to the side of him not touching his worm and just like that he has brought it down to a three on two situation back in his favor but with two very vulnerable worms, possibly even three vulnerable worms. Look at that 69 and the uh, the, the thickness of that uh, floor where that worm is. You have to say all three worms here in a vulnerable position. And I don't think this worm of uh, a load of craps 
it's going to see a light of day for much longer. Bazooka shot directly onto him. 48 damage plus extra for the fall. And uh, we are back to two on two. Some fire has finally affected both of those two worms there for a load of crap on the right-hand side of the map, reducing him to 12 and 66, respectively. That leaves him on 78 total. Playing Deathwish is 115. Unfortunately for a load of crap, this worm really is not in a good situation to... Uh, have any form of attack especially while that fire is going the big question is going to be though is that fire going to burn too much of a hole as he goes for a rocket shot off the water is it going to burn too much of a hole that he's not going to be able to travel back over to that right side i think he may get away with getting that worm back across that left hand uh, the right hand side there of that little mini pit but it's whether or not Deathwish does any more damage to that at the meantime but uh, you have to say with that position um, a load of crap is pretty much losing one turn every two, much like Deathwish was in that previous match when he had that worm down on that lower left area. Deathwish here with the bazooka shot, he's lining things up and uh, fires it across. Don't know what he was really going for, maybe just testing the waters there to see what would happen. Wind was slightly against him, wouldn't have made that much difference, but uh, yeah, there was not a lot happening in that shot there for Deathwish 808. Load of crap now with the high worm here. Are the pixels going to block him from doing backflips up here? It's not looking good for him at the minute. Just seems like as he is backflipping around, there are just slight pixels which are getting in his way and stopping him from going where he wants to go. He's reverted back to. Um, and over to the right hand side switching out to the grenade because the wind is against him what can he do here he can't directly kill one of Deathwish's worms here but he can take out a good chunk of damage potentially even impact them both that is a good shot directly on that worm though 45 damage to that worm and 12 to the other reducing both of Deathwish's worms now into one hit territory Deathwish with the worm lower here. Let's see what he can do. I'm, I'm I honestly, I, I don't think I can call this one at the minute. With a load of, I think a load of crap is going to lose that worm on the high right next. And though Deathwish goes for the low right worm, and that he, he has put that worm in an extremely vulnerable position now. He cannot scale that wall on the right, and um, any sort of move towards the left is going to be in the drink. So, um, that worm is pretty much isolated here, and of course, Worm's Luck gives him four wind against him, so he can't even use any sort of um, bazooka shot to try and attack. He's just going to take out some of that golf brolly there to try and plan for future shots, assuming that that worm can survive the next two shots of Deathwish 808. But um, having said in the previous turn, I can't really call this. I think after that exchange... It's looking more and more likely that Deathwish is going to take this match. But let's see how it all pans out. Switching out to the grenade, although he has the win with him. Is he going to go high or low here? Looks like he's going low. Bounces off the brolly, but bounces the wrong way and back towards the water. So a load of crap survives for the time being. You have to say, though, a... a, a intelligently placed grenade between both of Deathwish's worms here would work out extremely well for a load of crap he does go for that indeed oh there we go that's what I was talking about just slightly not enough damage reduces one to four and are both worms to four health you just cannot make this up right now but that's what I was talking about thinking about what I was looking at if he could have positioned that uh, grenade as I, as I said in between causing double damage there and the death wish has just killed off his own worm by not placing that bazooka shot high enough it is two on one here in favor of a load of crap and just like that just after i came out and said i think I'm, the match is swinging towards death wish it swings right back the other way in favor of a load of crap and um this is going to be some sort of finale the wind is with a load of crap here meaning he can use his bazooka so can a load of crap extend the lead here in the championship by um, taking out this worm of Deathwish? Or is there still hope for Deathwish? The grenade is up. It's five seconds on the timer. Is it going to roll back? That's going to be enough. 
It's going to be enough. And a load of crap takes the series. He comes back from losing that initial match. And more importantly, he has two worms remaining in this map match, giving him two extra points. Let's see how that affects the standings at the end of the matches from March the 3rd. So after yet another action-packed and unpredictable night, a load of crap extends his lead, now sitting pretty at 12 points, has won all three matches between the two players to this series so far, with the 11 worm bonus puts him on 17 points. Deathwish there having uh, only a queue of points there from worm bonuses on a lowly five points. Still a long way to go though in this March series. And what can Deathwish do to pull it back towards his favour? Only time will tell. Thank you very much, everybody, for tuning in and for the support. I appreciate everybody's support so far on this, um, this March series of videos. But until next time, thank you very much for watching. Have a good day. Bye-bye.